Okay, now we move on to task A2. And here it says, Selvi has collected information about the boats and the customers who hire them. She has saved the information in the database, Boat Hire. Let's check if you have that. Yes, we do have something from Boat Hire. Uh, the boat table includes information about the boats available for hire. And the hire table includes information about the customers. Okay, let's go in order now. Open the boat hire database and then open the boat table. So let's open the boat hire database. This is the database. And uh, click on enable content. And then we are supposed to open which table? We are supposed to open the boat table. Okay, so let's open this. And then the pass paper says the structure of the boat table is this. So basically why they give you the structure is so that you know what each of these fields are. Okay, so boat ID, it uses text and it is basically used to identify each boat. Boat name is the name of the boat. Berths means the number of people that, can, that the boat can accommodate. Okay, so this is just a description of what each of these fields mean. And if you look here, skipper available, it uses a data type as yes or no. And if you look over here, it's a, a tick means yes, no tick means no. Okay, so uh, moving on to our paper. Open a new word processing document, set the orientation to landscape, enter task A2, your name, candidate number and center number in the header, save the document as task A2. So let's start with that. Uh, let me come right click open the word document and let's say to save it as task A2. Let's do that. And then let's immediately open the um, Let's open the header. I just double click on this top area. It's the header. And I'm supposed to put, uh, what was I supposed to put? Task A2, name, candidate number, and center number. Task A2, name, candidate number, center number. Okay, that is done. You need to click this, close header and photo. Just double click in the middle area. And then the paper goes on to say, set the orientation to landscape. Now, right now, this paper is portrait, as you can see. If you want to make it landscape, you want to turn it the other way, you come to layout, orientation, landscape, uh, paper becomes the other way, it's now landscape. Okay, let's go in order. Selvi so wants to add more boats to the boat table using a data entry form. Okay, so we are supposed to create, create a data entry form for the boat table. Okay, so first what we do is let's create a data entry form and then let's go through what they say here. So now you come to your, you make sure the board table is open. Yes, it is open. Click on create and you directly come to creating a form. Okay, a form as you can see is used to input data into the table. You can see it over here. Now, let's go through the first thing. Include the ITSC logo you created in task A1. Okay, just before that we missed something. The form must match the house style. And include the ITSC logo you created in task A1A. As you remember guys, at the beginning, the house style for logo, what does it say? The logo should always be in the top right hand corner. Okay, so let's start off with that. Let's come into design view. Okay, and here we have our title and the logo is supposed to come over here. Okay, so what we can do is you can come to design, come to the design tab and say you want to insert the, uh, I would say a... When you put logo, I'll show you the problem. When you put logo, uh, let's go to my folder, desktop, and uh, it's over here, ITSC logo. You say, okay. Now it becomes like this, and uh, apparently you have to stretch the image if you want to make it fully visible. Okay. And uh, see, but it's a problem. So what I would say, I would undo this. I would undo this. Continue to undo it. Undo that. Uh, what I would do now is instead of going to inserting logo, I will click insert image and then I would browse for it because when you insert using an image, you can easily move it around as you wish. Okay, so now look at the, the, the computer is asking where do you want to put this image? So as you remember, it was always in the top right hand corner. So I'm just going to come and tell put it inside this area. So now you see the logo perfectly comes over there. Now what is our next criteria? Uh, include a suitable title. Okay, so uh, this table is about the boats. Uh, so what we'll say is uh, boat details. Okay, something like this should be fine. 
to the board details and then be customized so that the width of the board ID field is 3 centimeters. Okay, so they're saying that this field, the area of this field in the form should be only 3 centimeters. Now, uh, you can click on this and immediately you will be seeing a property sheet here. If this property sheet does not appear, you just come to design tab and click on this button, the property sheet would appear. So when you click on board ID, you would see in properties under format, you would see width, it is right now 6 point something. Uh, the past paper expects you to make it 3 space centimeters when you press enter. Now when you do this, automatically the all the other fields are also being adjusted to 3 centimeters, which is not correct. They want only the board ID to be 3 centimeters. So now what you have to do is, you have to click on this button over here, which selects the entire form. Okay, and you have to come to arrange and say remove layout because right now all these uh, boxes, right now all these boxes have been grouped together. So when you make a change to one, all the others also get changed. So if you want only specifically one to be changed, you should select only that particular uh, box. So what you have to do is first ungroup these. Okay, click on this button so all of them get selected and then come and say remove layout. Now when you click that, they all become individual boxes. They are not grouped anymore together. Now what you come and do is you come and click on board ID and you come to the width and you say I want it to be 3 space centimeters. Press enter, it gets adjusted to 3 centimeters. And uh, the next question goes as uh, the length M field should be 2 centimeters. So you come here to length, come to the width and type here 2 space centimeters. That is also done. It automatically converts into inches. Don't worry about that. Let's move on. Now it says save the uh, save the form as board underscore form. So very important. You click save and you can type it as board underscore form. You click OK. As you can see over here the form appears. If it does not appear, always click here and say show all access objects. OK, then it will appear. Uh, the company has bought a new board. Use the board form you created in task A2 to add these details to the board table. So using the form, these details have to be added to the table. Okay. So using the form, I repeat, using this particular form, we are going to add those details. So when you want, this is where, right now we are in the design view. If you want to enter details, you have to go to form view. So once you come into form view, what you do is I'm going to press Windows and left. And uh, then the computer is asking me, what do you want on the right hand side? I'm going to say I want my question paper to be on the right hand side, make this smaller. And right now I want to add a new record. So if I click this, this goes to the next record. If I want to add a new record, I click this star here. You can see it comes new blank record. Click on that. And let's start entering the data. The board ID is OC456. The board name, the knee. And uh, the birth, the uh, eight. Width 4, head 2, length 10, and now skipper available, it says no, so I simply will not tick this box, that's it, and this is classic, that is done, okay, and now what I do is, I just click on, let's make this big, now once you're done with this, you just click next, okay, and click on save, make sure you click on save, now when you come here, you will notice that that data has still not appeared, okay, we spoke about uh, what was the name of this thing. It was called Bernie. If you see, there is no uh, boat here called Bernie. It hasn't been added yet. So what you have to do is you have to close this table. Close this table. And now reopen boat. And there you go. Bernie has appeared now. Okay. So let's go back to our question paper. Take a screenshot of the completed form. Let's go to our form. And uh, here you go. This is the... No, this is not our one. I think our one is in the end, the last record. Not Magenta. I think pre before this. This is Bernie. This is the one we entered. They want us to take a screenshot of it. So print screen. And then what are we supposed to do with it? Paste the screenshot in task A2. Come here, control B. Uh, that's done. And then um, next what do we do? Do resave task A2. Do not print at this stage. Okay, that is done. Uh, task A to C, it goes as sort the board table by board ID into alphabetical order. When they say alphabetical order, it basically means ascending order. So, let's go to the board table. Let's click on the board ID column and click on sort ascending. That's done. And uh, take a screenshot of the sorted table. Okay, so 
let's take a screenshot of this in the screen and what are we supposed to do with it paste a screenshot into document task a2 so let me take that enter and uh, control v that has been pasted uh, make sure that all data is displayed on one side of a4 and is easy to read okay so uh, all this is supposed to fit into one A4 sheet. Okay, so let me make some adjustments now. Let me make this smaller. Should be readable as well. So, okay, let me make it slightly bigger. I think now. Okay, it's readable. I think now. I'll go for a slide. Okay. Right, move to another page. Okay, this is fine. This is done. Now we move on to the next one. Uh, resave task A2. Do not print at this stage. Okay, so we resave it. We're not going to print at this stage. A2D goes as Selvi wants a list of boats that that are Premier Plus style. The style should be Premier Plus. Have a skipper available, which means skipper should be yes. Are more than 15 meter 15 meters in length or have more than 10 berths. Okay. So the list must show only the fields, boat ID, length, boat name, births in this order, be sorted in a descending order of length, create a query, okay? So create a query on the boat table to produce this list, okay? So let's start, let's open the boat table, come to create, and I would always prefer using query design, click on query design, and they told us this should be based on the boat table, at the boat table, and... Uh, make this bigger first take what are the fields they're asking for they're asking for boat ID length boat name and births so boat ID boat name sorry boat ID length it should be length and then we move on to boat name and births boat name and then we have births and now let's go through our criteria uh, a premier plus style okay so the style should be premier plus so let's take the style field let's take the style field and but we will say do not show it because the question paper does not ask us to show style so let's do not show it and the criteria for it is it should be premier plus and the next one is have a skipper available so we will also take skipper now we will also take skipper and the cri we will not show it and we will say the criteria is no and the next one goes as are more than 15 meters in length let's do that first the length should be criteria is more than 15 greater than 15 and o have more than 10 births okay o have more than 10 births so what we do here is we come to the o field can you see o is over here for o we say more than 10 greater than 10 the reason we do not put it here is if you put it here it would be greater than 15 and greater than 10 but the past paper says o have more than 10 births that is why we put it in the o field okay it should have it should be greater than 15 or greater than 10 okay uh, anything else we have to do this is done uh, this is also done be sorted in descending order of length so we come to length and we click here the sort and we say sort descending that is also done uh, and next okay save the query as premier plus okay let's do that let's click on uh, save shall we click run first let's run it first run it is it working yes it works fine let's click on save and we are supposed to save it as premier underscore plus that is done and uh, Save the query as Premier Plus. Take a screenshot of the query design. Take a screenshot of the query design. So this is the query design. We will be taking a screenshot of it. And what do we do with the screenshot? Paste a copy of the query design task document task A2. Uh, we come over here and we paste it. Next, what are we supposed to do? Display the results of the query. So if you want to display the results of the query, we come to the data sheet view. These are the results. And what are we supposed to do? Take a screenshot of the results and paste a copy of the results into uh, document A2. 
So we take a screenshot of this and we come down, enter, and we paste it over here. Resave task A2, do not print at this stage. So we resave this as well. So now task A2E goes as open the higher table. Okay, so let's do that. Let's open the higher table. And um, it goes on to tell us what the structure of the higher table is this. Okay, so this is the structure of it. Uh, Selby wants a list of all customers from Sa Spain and Singapore who hired boats in week 27. Okay, so uh, once again, the list should the list must show only the fields. These are the fields it should be showing. We sort in ascending order of country. Okay, and uh, create a query on the higher table to find this information. Okay, so we're supposed to create a query. Let's create a query. And we come to query design, and as you remember, here it says on the higher table. So we come over here, open the higher table. Okay, let's make this bigger. And now, if you come over here at the question paper, let's take the fields that they ask for first. They say show boat ID, customer name, customer email. Boat ID, customer name, and the customer email. That's done. And uh, let's look at the criteria now. List of all customers from Spain and Singapore. So uh, we take what we call the country, but make sure to say do not show it. And the criteria for it will be Spain or Singapore. Okay, that's what she says, Spain and Singapore. So we come here and say Spain or Singapore. If, the thing is, if you put and here, it will be looking for people who are from Spain and Singapore at the same time, which is not possible. So we have to put Spain or Singapore. And uh, the next criteria was hired boats in week 27. So we will be taking that field as well. That will be the date of hire. But we will not be showing it. And we, the, the, the criteria will be it should be week 27. Okay, that's also done. Be sorted in ascending order of country. Sorted in ascending order of country. So country sorted ascending. And uh, is there anything else? That's it. Create a query on the higher table to find this information. Okay. So what we do is we click run now. Let's click run. And here you go. We have three pieces of data there. Uh, save the query as week 27 underscore query. So we'll just click save. And say week 27 underscore query. That is done as well. And uh, then she wants, uh, Selvi wants to produce a database report on the results from week 27 query. So she wants a report produced. Let's go with that. Let's make sure we first open week 27 query. Okay, we first open week 27 query. And then while that is open, we come to create and directly we go for a report. Okay, now report has been created. Now let's go line by line. What did they say? The database must uh, match the house style and have a suitable title. Okay, so let's put a suitable title. The title would be, let's go into design view. And uh, this is basically, uh, what was it about? Customers from Singapore, Spain and Singapore hired boats in, uh, boats in week 27. You can say custom. Customers from Spain or Singapore who hired boats on week 27. Okay, what I would do is I would like to make this area slightly bigger and it's not going down. If I wanted to go down, I think I'll have to come to the uh, report view, not report view, layout view. And what we can do is uh, Let's take this to the next line. Why is it not going to the next line? Sorry, let's make this bigger. And uh, should go to the next line. Anyway, no problems. Uh, let's go to the uh, design view again. Uh, next one is what? Include the ITSC logo. You create in task A1. As you remember, in the house side, it said the logo should always be in the top right hand corner. So, what we do now is uh, once again, we come to uh, design. And I told you instead of taking uh, logo, instead of taking logo, just click on this area, insert image. Here we have the logo. Let's draw the logo somewhere here. 
Yes, that looks fine. It's in the top right hand corner. Next one is there. Show only the required fields. Uh, boat ID, customer name, and customer email. Yes, boat ID, customer name, customer email. That is what's there. Uh, show the records sorted as required. We already did the sorting here. Sorting was already done here. Enter your name, candidate number, and center number in the page footer. So we make this page footer area bigger. This is the page footer area, as you can see. Let's make this area bigger. And what we do is we put a label. Make sure you always select a label and draw that label over here. What are we supposed to type there? Uh, your name, candidate number, and center number. So let me type that over here. Let me click here. So that is also done. Uh, make sure that all data this is displayed on one side of A4 and is easy to read. So what we do is we come to home and we click on view and we say we want to print preview. So right now as you can see it is not fitting one A4 sheet. If you click on the next page you can see one part of the logo and all this is appearing on the next page. So it requires some form of editing. Let's go to the layout and what we can do is uh, let's click on this and let's make this smaller. As you can see that moves there. Let's bring this over here. No, that didn't work. Let's keep it over there. That looks better. And uh, let's make this even smaller. So that these two can be pushed over here. Okay, so all this fits inside one page. And uh, yes. It's all fitting one page, and if you want to print, you can just come here and click on File, Print. You can click on Print, select the printer from here, and you can click OK. So that's done. Uh, print Week 27 report. That is done as well.